If I was buying a new entry-level scooter tomorrow, it would be the No doubt about it. Well, in today's video, we'll be comparing two of the top entry-level electric scooters on the market right now to find out which one is the best buy for you. Stick around to the end as I'll be mentioning my personal pick. The Hillboy S2 Pro and the GoTrax G4 are both affordable electric scooter models that offer high-end features you typically won't see in electric scooters at their price point. Both are well-rounded e-scooters making waves among entry-level commuters, giving their 10-inch tires, best-in-class top speed, and built-in security features. Many things about these scooters hit the mark. So which one should you purchase? Let's find out. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. As far as design goes, the G4 isn't much different from its predecessors, compared to the Hillboy S2 Pro. The width of the handlebars are a little longer though. This is a welcome improvement thanks to the increased ability and control it affords. Both its bell and handle brake are well positioned, allowing easy access when you need to stop or let people know you're overtaking. Likewise, the thumb throttle is conveniently located, particularly for you right-handed folks, meaning you can easily control the scooter speed and acceleration. In the middle of the handlebars, the G4 has a commanding LED dashboard, which is a little in your face, but in a good way. The screen juts out between the handlebars, displaying all you need to know about your speed, battery life, and cruise control status at a glance. On the other hand, the handlebars on the S2 Pro are similar to most of the S2 range. They have textured rubber grips that allow for more control, whilst also being resistant to wear and tear. This adds a layer of durability to the scooter, setting it apart from the G4. Moreover, the S2 Pro has brakes on both sides of the handlebars. On the right, there's a manual handbrake which controls the rear disc brake, while on the left, it has an electric thumb brake. Switching back to the right, S2 Pro has a thumb-operated accelerator, not forgetting the neatly designed LED display in the middle of the handlebars, which is reminiscent of the popular Xiaomi 365 and keeps track of your speed, rider settings, battery level, and cruise control. In terms of build quality, both the scooters sport a sturdy, reliable frame made from tried and tested aviation grade aluminum alloy that holds up against the pressure of daily use. As for water resistance, the S2 Pro has an IP54 water resistant rating. At 36.3 pounds, the S2 Pro can still be picked up and carried with relative ease, though carrying it around for long periods will be a drag. The G4, on the other hand, is built to stand the test of time. The architecture of the G4 makes more sense than the S2 Pro. The battery, for instance, is integrated into the deck, affording the G4 a more streamlined, economical feel. Plus, it has an exposed cable running down the length of the tiller showing an extra neatness and attention to detail about the design. In terms of weight, the G4 weighs in at 37.5 pounds. And although it's a little heavier than the S2 Pro, it's very easy to fold, lift, stow away, and carry around. So commuters should not have worries at all. As for performance, the G4 is easily the fastest zooming onto the scene with an impressive top speed of 20 miles an hour. And as far as acceleration is concerned, you should bear in mind that the G4 is a Kickstarter. This means that acceleration may not be as fast as you would like, since it takes its time to kick into action. To reach 20 miles an hour from stationary start, it'll take you around 12 seconds. The S2 Pro, on the other hand, has a top speed of 19 miles an hour, when in sport mode. It also has a surprisingly nippy acceleration rate, considering its motor is mounted up front, which typically leads to a slower start off the line. Against the backdrop of the GoTrax G4, the Hillboy S2 Pro performs well, capable of hitting 15 miles an hour in 5.2 seconds. A full battery and economic riding will give you a maximum range of 25 miles. However, it's unlikely that you'll hit the max range every time you ride. The 25-mile stat is based on a best-case scenario. All electric scooters use that maximum range spec to advertise their scooters. The best-case scenario often includes a 165-pound rider and the scooter being ridden on the lowest speed setting on a flat terrain. Realistically, if you ride the scooter at full speeds, you can expect the range to drop by about 10 miles. As for suspension and shock absorption, Hillboy has fitted the S2 Pro with two rear spring shock absorbers. This feature is quite handy when taking on full potholes and other road debris as it can easily absorb the vibrations and shocks of such obstacles. You can also adjust the suspension to fit your specific needs and ride comfort. Moreover, the S2 Pro has a modest ground clearance allowing about a half an inch of traffic 
travel for the suspension. It also flaunts an electric thumb brake on the left side and a manual handbrake that operates the rear disc brake on the right. When combined, the S2 Pro has effective stopping power. It's able to come to a stop in 4.3 meters from 15 miles per hour, which is better than the average braking distance of most other budget scooters. On the other hand, to anyone familiar with the rest of the models in GoTrax's line of scooters, the G4's lack of traditional suspension shouldn't come as a surprise. Yet considering the price tag of this model and its undisputed status as GoTrax's finest, most feature-rich scooter, it's reasonably to feel a little shortchanged here. Until that is, you take a closer look at the G4's tires. The G4's pneumatic tires make up for its lack of shock absorption components, with a new and improved design that sets them apart from GoTrax's other models. The G4 tires will do more than enough to cushion your knees and ankles from the road's impact. As for braking, the G4 relies on a dual braking system. This is made up of a rear disc brake and electronic regenerative brake that kicks into action once the brake is pulled. This approach comes with pros and cons. The handbrake, for instance, is a convenient feature and gives you more control than the S2 Pro, which relies on electronic thumb paddle brakes. And regenerative braking, which uses kinetic energy from the G4's motor to feed its brakes, is always a plus. However, there's no glossing over it. The braking here isn't as powerful as it would be if both wheels were each fitted with a brake. All the G4 stopping power is focused towards the rear wheel, which isn't ideal, especially when you could be zipping down the street at 20 miles an hour. In terms of charging, the S2 Pro takes about 6 hours. The G4, on the other hand, can reach a full charge in 4 to 5 hours, which is around the standard rate for the size of the battery. That's less than the time it takes to work a 9 to 5 business day, so it's easy to have it charging by your desk and ready for the ride home. Before we reveal our pick, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and also don't forget to share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so as to never miss any of our upcoming videos. Conclusion All in all, if you're looking to buy your first electric scooter and you want a scooter which you can ride for short distances and is a lot cheaper, then the GoTrax G4 is a good option. It's better than the Hillboy S2 Pro and has higher grade parts, such as metal locking clips to keep the scooter folded instead of a cheap plastic latch. But it is also quite heavier. The two speed modes make it accessible to first time riders who don't want to go too fast but need a little more pickup on the incline, although you won't get a ton of range. The S2 Pro on the other hand has some features that you'd often see in more expensive units. It's also more efficient for daily commuting as it's pretty portable and easy to store. Overall, personally, if I was buying a new entry-level scooter tomorrow, it would be the GoTrax G4, since it's not only cheaper, but also offers surprising performance and comes with a higher grade scale body, thus ensuring your safety. If you're still not sure what scooter to pick, be sure to check out our previous video where we listed the top 5 best electric scooters in 2022. For more information and updated price about the scooters mentioned, check the links in the description box below.